Hi, howdy friends. We're back today with true crime. No, right? It's been a minute, but by God, we're going to start getting back into it. There's a couple of true crime cases that I want to start covering. First case I want to cover uh, is kind of ongoing. You've possibly seen it. Uh, it's been going all over TikTok. It's finally made the news and that sort of thing. That's the case, Maddie Russo. This is 19-year-old Madison Russo from Bettendorf, Iowa. As you can see here, it was pretty widely reported and pretty public that Maddie was suffering with pancreatic cancer. Maddie, and what I'm assuming is her mother here, uh, were pretty well known in this cancer community uh, for her diagnosis, diagnosis with pancreatic cancer. She's a beautiful young woman. It's absolutely tragic that someone this young would be stricken down with such a horrible disease. Maddie also documented her journey on her social medias, her TikTok, her Facebook, her Instagram, uh, basically bringing a face to the disease. She shared when she lost her hair from chemo and radiation. Bravely was sharing the ugly side of it. Blood transfusions, chemo treatments, the whole nine. She bravely shared a spinal surgery when her cancer progressed into acute lymphoblastic leukemia and put a tumor the size of a football on her spine. There were ports, tubes, feeding tubes, cancer treatments, you name it, she had it. Radiation. But Maddie made it a point to share her journey with everyone while going to school and trying to make an impact on the pancreatic cancer community. She even went so far as to have speaking engagements with St. Ambrose University and the National Pancreatic Cancer or Pancreatic Foundation in Chicago. At some point, she wore a wig. And at other times, she would have her hair out and talk about how much it was thinning and uh, how unhealthy it had become. She celebrated Easter and holidays and always kept her spirit up despite everything that was going on. Of course, there were bad times as well. Cancer is not easy on anybody. Not easy, not easy. Emotional. It even went as far as a GoFundMe that raised almost $40,000 for her treatment and for her while she was going through this treatment. Except there's a little problem. Maddie Russo didn't have cancer. Maddie Russo has never had cancer. Maddie Russo faked her cancer diagnosis to steal money and attention from those who followed her. Maddie was arrested on January 23rd of 2023, charged with first degree felony theft. Why would someone do this? Why would somebody fake cancer, you say? For money and for attention. This is the worst type of human being. Let's start. Part two of Maddie Russo. Sorry for the delay. Had to take a break, feed myself and my kid. So back in February of 2022, Maddie announced to her friends, family, and followers on social media that she had been diagnosed with stage two pancreatic cancer. I don't know if you're familiar with pancreatic cancer. It's not one that I'm super familiar with, but I do know that that's what killed Patrick Swayze. And everything I've heard says that pancreatic cancer is a very, very aggressive cancer. It's very hard to treat, and it's not uh, easily recovered from. Now, if by some reason you know that I'm wrong, please by all means correct me because I don't want to be spreading false information about pancreatic cancer. So like I said, Maddie decides to start documenting her journey on her social media. Here's the original uh, update from her GoFundMe. You can pause to read. These are all screenshots I got from somebody else's TikTok uh, down here. His name's Bobby. Um, I'll, I'll tag the account down at the bottom. So anyway, she starts, you know, wearing her pancreatic cancer gear, starts making TikToks, um, posting things about chemo, radiation, um, sickness, hospitalizations, all of that. She loses her hair. And this is where, you know, people started noticing things on these pictures. Like, obviously, I'm a hairstylist, but you don't have to be a hairstylist to realize that hair is cut. Like, that's just a home haircut. Also, Maddie has very long hair, and she makes posts talking about how she keeps her hair. So why is there hair in the sink? When she posts things like this about being sick from her chemo, everything is over the counter. Here's this blood transfusion. I'm going to try to find the picture of the other one, but if you look closely right here, the types of blood are not the same. Sorry, I must have deleted it. I just have an IV pole here. Uh, this could be a picture from anything. She posts pictures like this that have her port. And I don't know if 
you've ever seen a cancer port, they're not usually this sloppy. And what got a lot of people that started talking is that this is a feeding tube. This is an NG tube. It goes in your nose, down into your stomach, right? It's not primed. And what that means is that if she was really using this, first of all, there's nothing in that bag. This would be where the nutrition would be. There's nothing in this bag. And if she was actually being fed via feeding tube, this tube would be full of this white liquid. There's nothing in that. So she would just be pumping air into her stomach. Here's another one. No substances in the tubing. And those look like cotton balls. And her port is still messy. Also, do you see that right there? That little purple spot? Yeah, that's supposed to be down in her stomach. That's her, like, taking something. Sorry, I had to look for some. That's her taking something and going like this and saying it's an NG tube. Like, no, absolutely not. Head over to part three. Part three, Maddie Russo. We're on our shit today. We're doing a whole case in one night. So after Maddie kept posting, you know, Instagram stories and things like this. I'm sorry, my nose is running. Uh, about her radiation, chemotherapy, etc. Talking about her cancer journey and whatever. Saying this was a live video. I don't have the clip of it. But uh, at this point, this was Easter. So this would have been two months in. And it was after her first round of chemo or radiation, and she says that the reason she wasn't losing hair was because of biotin. Biotin. And I mean, in theory, through this whole thing, her friends and followers think that this girl is going through the worst time in her life at 19 years old. So somebody starts a GoFundMe, which is not uncommon. Lots of people with cancer have a GoFundMe started or start one themselves because cancer treatment is insanely expensive in America. And a lot of people's insurance doesn't cover everything. And even if your insurance does cover the cost of your treatment, there's a lot of expenses. You know, you're missing work. There's a lot of gas, hotel stays, that sort of thing that go into it as well. And as you can see here, by the time this GoFundMe was closed, she had raised $37,000. I don't know when this was started. Um, I, it was sometime after February. So this went on for about 10 months. So she raised that much in 10 months. Like I said, she does speaking engagements at the Pan National Pancreatic Foundation in Chicago. There are other pictures of her and her boyfriend, I assume, shopping at H&M outside of the Big Bean in Chicago. This is him. He looks like a gem. And here's that wig, you know, real high quality, which that's the other thing. If you actually have cancer, you don't want a cheap ass looking wig. You want hair that looks like real hair. You want to be able to be like I am right now and just pull this off and y'all would just be shocked that this was a wig. She wanted a wig that looked like she was wearing a wig because it goes along with the facade. She then says that the reason she still has hair is because of hair extensions. You can't put extensions in hair that is coming out from chemo or radiation. You just can't. You do have to have some real hair for the extensions to stick to, tie to, sew to, bead to, something. Like I said, she was showing her port, uh, sort of. This is her in December, I think. This one's even more funny as far as faking the tube. This is from New Year's Eve. I mean, having an emotional moment on a video, I mean, a month ago, not even a month ago. And then this is a screenshot from this girl's TikTok, uh, Scrub Hacks down here. This is where I originally saw this story. So head to the next part. We'll go over this. Part four of Maddie Russo. So like I said, I did get a lot, the original part of this story from this Scrub Hacks. Um, you can see what I screenshotted from her to see her tags. Um, this is a video that she made. This is a screenshot of Maddie's mother. This is Peggy Russo on January 5th. You can pause to read. Uh, prayers for Maddie tonight. I started a new medicine on Tuesday for her cancer and code. Maddie Russo, part five, final part for tonight. Like I said, Maddie was ultimately arrested on January 23rd, charged with first degree felony theft for stealing from 439 donors over $37,000 on her GoFundMe for her non-existent pancreatic cancer. Now, I do want to point out that the two foundations that she was working with, the ones that she spoke at, both at St. Ambrose University and the National Pancreatic Foundation in Chicago, 
they are victims of this as well as anybody else. They were going off of somebody's word that they had cancer. You can see here that Maddie was bailed out on a $10,000 cash only bond and she was released after four hours and four minutes, which to be real honest, doesn't feel like enough time. We're back with Maddie in that god awful zigzag part wig. Again, she did not want a wig that looked real. She wanted a wig that looked like a wig to prove that she had cancer. And like I said, the tan in bed didn't stop. Self tan, whatever. I have not seen any updates since her arrest, so she is out. She is probably in hiding somewhere. All her socials are quiet, if not deleted by now. And that's all we've got. She has, of course, blown up on TikTok now because she's a liar and a fraud, fraud artist, con artist, con artist. That's the word. That's all we have for Maddie Russo for now. We will uh, be following up when she goes to court and has the hearings and everything set. This is one that we will be following on and it is happening in real time. So it might take a while. So let me know your thoughts, comments down below. And I will point out that if for some reason you knew about this and donated to her GoFundMe, GoFundMe is refunding all the money to the patrons who sent to it. So if for some reason you saw this when you thought she had pancreatic cancer, get a hold of GoFundMe. They'll give you your money back. And y'all, don't fake cancer. That's not cute. That's not a look. Hope y'all have a great night. Tomorrow, I am going to start working on an outline, and we might start it tomorrow, maybe the day after. going to start working on the uh, Alex Murdoch case. Uh, South Carolina, uh, I'll put a picture of him here. This is the Murdoch family. This is the man on trial. These two are dead, and I don't know where he's at. His name's Buster, by the way. Netflix has something coming out sometime in February that is called, like, the Murdoch Murders. Murdoch? Murdoch? I don't know. Murdoch murders, uh, and there is a dateline about it if you want to catch up before we start talking about his trial. I love you guys. Have a wonderful night. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you all soon. Bye.